and welcome everybody to another episode of Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. This is episode 6 and today we're going to do some stuff that's a little bit different. We're not going to go over to the village like I previously stated. I thought I'd stay away from the village today. I thought I'd try and do some other stuff instead guys because it seems we've spent the last two episodes to in and throwing from the village and I think today we need to do a change. We need to spend some time away from it and try and work on our base. So I thought I'd take this time just to let you guys know that beforehand. So if you expected another episode in the village, I'm sorry, but we can save that for maybe for next time, the time after, something like that. But today we're going to work on this thing here because uh, the grass isn't got here yet, but at least we can we can get it sorted so that basically all of this is nice and pathy and it's got nice gravel, stone, stone brick in it, things like that. Uh, and it's got also all the other stuff as well. I can hear zombies and skeletons. Which is kind of worrying me, and I think I need to collect the skeleton bones anyway, so we might as well attack them while they're here. So, what are my plans for the base? So, I basically, I have that little tunnel that's underneath, but I want to try and avoid that. Uh, the plan is to have two main entranceways or doors into the place. Two, uh, obviously, they're both going to be at the bottom, and they're both going to be two by two doors. So, while I'm running around here killing these guys before the night ends, uh, because I'm trying to get as much uh, levels as I can, and it looks like there's a. Oh, hello, spider. Have I got any torches? Oh, I do. Let's have a. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Seems we found a cave. Let's go and uh, light this up. Didn't expect to be in a cave, but I guess we found one. That's pretty cool. And it dead ends to the ocean again. Uh, but that was a pretty neat little find. I didn't think I'd find anything like this. Let's just grab this. Uh, let's go back up. I didn't want to spend too much time in a. Oh, that is a deep cave. Yeah, let's get out of there. Swim up. Come here, guy. <laughs> you don't like the water, do you? Spider, did you, did you try and hit me under the water and then fail? Oh, ow. Oh, frick. Oh, I fell back down the water stream again. Oh, I got him. Nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm free. Yay. And back to base. <laughs> As if it never happened. So we need to get to our 23 levels at some point, guys, but not today. I think we'll do that some other time because that will make our decent sword. But now we can... Let's have a look at what we can do then here, shall we? So first of all, let's sleep. And sh where should we work on first? I think we should probably work on gathering our resources for this first because this is going to take me a little while just to figure out what I'm doing. So let's go to my blocks chest. We're going to need gravel. I don't have too much gravel, so I guess we're going to have to go and get some stone and stone brick. So, these chests are where the doors are going to be, guys, okay? So, we'll start, we'll figure out a sort of a rough path to head over to here, because I'm going to have a big tree that's grown here, so it'll grow a nice big size. And same as the path will follow up straight to there. And my, my, this does take a while, so let's just <laughs> do a bit of this. That'll uh, encourage it to grow, I think. But it is taking its time, because I haven't spent... I did promise you guys that I'd spend time off camera, but I didn't really find the time for it, which kind of became a problem for me because I just didn't have the time. So let's start here then, shall we? Oh yeah, forget, there is a uh, <laughs> bit of a hole down here, and uh, let's hope we don't lose this to uh, anything else. So we've got this is the dirt, and what else have we got to fill it in with? Well, I guess we can use smooth stone. It's the one we've got the most of. So... Really, I need to make a, a thick layer underneath this where... Because like that, for example, that there is just... That's going to be gravel. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Uh, we'll go back here. Uh, where else we go? Here? This bit? This post? Maybe here as well? I'm trying to get an idea of where this path's going to be without messing about too much. So... Oh, no, I just lost that. Never mind. That's now become a, another piece of gravel. So, now let's start to fill in the rest of this with, like, stone brick. So, let's take this all out. I'm going to have to go down there in a second anyway. So, let's take that out first of all. So, we'll go stone brick, stone brick. Uh, let's bring it over here now, I think. So, we have a double stone brick, smooth stone, uh, <laughs> double smooth stone, maybe? So, how does that look? Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Uh, uh, hmm... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's stick with that. And then let's go smooth stone here. Mm, double smooth stone, maybe? May no, 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 no. Go here with the smooth stone. We'll leave this as dirt so we can have grass there. Because then we've got this nice W edge on this. 
which I think would look good. And yeah, hmm. that's a tricky one, that, because uh, we're getting pretty close to the edge there. And hmm. Okay, let's do these two now. What should we put in this one? This can be brick. This one can be uh, like that. Uh, I think we need to go and get some gravel, really, guys. And have I got? I definitely don't have any gravel, do I? I have flint, but no gravel. Um, kind of a bit stuck here because I need the gravel. And where's the best place to get gravel, guys? I'm not too sure. I would have expected like at the bottom of a big lake or something, but this is all sand and stuff. So, uh, hmm, kind of stuck. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think I'd be getting stuck, though. Let's go over to that cave we were in a couple of episodes... Oh, last episode, because I remember there was plenty of gravel in that. And let's just go over there and get some, because we need some gravel to decorate with. And I Oh, God. One. Oh, wow, he must have been burning and got under a tree. So that cave is just about over here somewhere, I think. Uh, well, at least I thought it was over here. I don't remember it being this far away. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is it, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, yeah, look. See, there's our torch. Look at this. Gravel. This is what we're looking for. And this is what we need. So let's just grab what's at the top here. And if we get flint, we get flint. But I'm not really bothered, to be honest. The gravel's what I want. And let's just fill up the resource of what we've got. So this is the good thing about having the early stages of a world. You kind of have to collect the resources and do the things as you're going. So I'm trying to make something look uh, aesthetically pleasing. I should have really made a shovel. Have I got any wood on me I can do that with? No. Never mind. Which sword am I using? The sharpness 2. Let's use the, the unbreaking sword. Because it's, this is probably going to increase the level count that I need now because I've damaged that one. Hmm. Oh, well. Actually. Efficiency 2. It's probably going to break. Yep, it was breaking. How did I know that I'd break? Doesn't matter. Wow, there is really nothing to do this with. This is going to take us ages, because even a shovel would take its time. And just double-checking, I don't have a shovel. No, but I could make one with a crafting table, but I'd probably just waste as much time trying to make it. So I guess I will... How much should we take? Well, this is going to go pretty quickly. So, we might as well just take the time to mine the gravel up. Uh, but, yeah, so what are the plans for it? It's just to make it nice and decorative and stuff like that. Get some, uh, I think I might have to put a secondary grass pillar growing through just because it's taking its time on the first one. It's probably not the shortest place it can come through either. But yeah, the thing is to make it look nice and garden style. So I'm trying to make a garden around it, but we need the grass in there to bone meal anything. So once we've done this, we'll get our shears. Well, first of all, I think I can make some while I'm here. Yeah, we've got some shears on us now. There we go. Nice and easy. Dead quick to make as well. And it looks like we're on our second stack now, getting the gravel. So nearly there. It tells you how big these gravel pockets can be. That's good because it means if you do one, you get about a stack and a half, stack and a, stack and a quarter, something about that. This is actually a pretty small vein of gravel. I pretty swear I can see. I swear I can see. Wow, great English that. But yeah, we need to grab some leaves. So let's get our shears on our bar. And how many leaves? Where should we just try and grab trees that are on their own on the edge of the river? That'll probably be best. So we won't affect the forest too much then, will we? And I'm going to go with the uh, oak leaf. Uh, oak. <laughs> Whoops. Actually stripping that tree by accident. Just tapping it. But yeah, we just want to get one of these trees like this. Just trying to grab some leaves so we can make it decorative. Because Exploits Edition it doesn't have too many flowers like the PC version does. And it can limit what you get. And else, But you can make some spectacular things even with the limits you've got. Because jungle leaves are kind of dense. Which may allows you to make things that you can't see through but also if you use these these leaves it's kind of the same thing so even that i'm in the water on us that's why i can't do anything because i'm in the water uh 57 wow there's a lot off a tree uh let's chop the tree down anyway might as well take the wood but yeah whilst we've got all this uh oh wait hang on up uh, up uh, there we go uh, i get the last three. Oh, did that last one just despawn really oh well never mind but the plan is to have nice stony brick uh, graveled path going through the center of it, the walkway. And on the sides, it's just going to be like bone mealed uh, things like this. Hang on, I might be able to grab some of this now. Yeah, look at that. I can grab it. That's pretty cool, actually. With the shears, you can pretty much get anything with shears. Uh, I think I ran out of space, didn't I? Yep. Uh, spider, I can go. Because I can go and grab these then. There we go. 
Because then these these are pretty cool as well. Look at this. See how they look in the inventory. It's grass block. It's not really a block. It's more like just grass. Or oh, tall grass. Because this is grass we're walking on as well. So I suppose we're kind of two in one there really. And I might as well use the dirt I've got here to make sort of that style path. Let's see if we can get the dirt that close. But I probably have to spend some time being AFK here just so that we can get some of this done. And my, look at that, how much better that looks already. Just removing the aspect of the dirt. Just trying to get a better angle on this. Uh, there. Uh, let's take this and this again. So now we want to fill in the gravel. So I want a piece of gravel here. Oh, wow, there's stone there. Um, double gravel here, I suppose. Because I think this, the corridor underneath isn't that wide. And I think I might have to go behind there and put some stone brick in eventually as well. But I think we can leave it like that. What should we put in this? This is going to bug me, I think. Uh, gravel again? Mm, yeah, we can swap these two around. I think I can put, like, put the gravel there. This is me being all technical. Maybe a stone brick? How does that look? Yeah, it looks good. And then we can walk around. You'll come up. This block. Uh, what should we put this block as? And the question is, do we want to bring the path around here as well? Probably, yeah. Probably should. And put something like stone brick stairs here or something. That might be nice. Uh, but let's get the gravel in first since this is the awkward one. We'll put gravel here. We'll put gravel here. We'll go here and we'll go We'll go there. Does that look okay? Then we'll go here maybe And uh, Maybe here Yeah, we'll go here. Oh breaking the wrong one. There we go And I'll go over there in a second, but I don't know where to place it uh, Now uh, where should we place it now? Hmm stone brick next I think and where are we looking at here? We'll go here. <laughs> this is me just being very particular about stone brick and gravel. I don't want too much of the stuff because I think it'll look too... it just look a bit odd if one was more than the others. Because uh, that can be that can be smooth stone. That can be smooth stone. Uh, we'll go over here. We'll put some stone over here. And we will go there. Should we make like a triangle pattern here with smooth stone? Uh, sto smooth stone. Stone brick. And where we can put like... Yeah, because I think this will be the tree. It'll grow here and the stairs will have to go up at some point there. Because it's too high, so it's going to take two sets of stairs. So we'll leave this bit blank. And now finally, it's stone brick. So, uh, tree log going to be there, I think. I'm going to make my custom trees. Uh, I like doing custom trees. I think they're very unique in the way they are built. And I do like building them. So I might build one of them around this area here. Uh, hmm. Does that look... I, I don't know. Does that look okay? But this will look odd to you guys now because you won't be looking at, at my design. So I've got a design in front of me, by the way, guys. I should have really mentioned that at the start. That's why I'm kind of doing two in one here. I'm kind of just looking at the design and kind of thinking about it at the same time, if you know what I mean. So I'm kind of trying to do stuff, but I'm also failing at doing multiple stuff in one go. So I think that looks good because then that'll be the custom tree right there. The tree will actually be on, I think it's this block here. So let's get it go in so the tree will actually be grown on this block so we'll get a sapling on that let's see if i've got any saplings so let's get rid of some blocks iron ore blocks <laughs> cobble oak wood stone just getting rid of my stuff what needs to go in this chest nope no 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 whoops arrows don't go in there helmet does shears coal iron flint maybe mm, yeah flint goes in there <laughs> uh uh they can go in there and then just dump the rest in the bottom chest down here. Like so. Bone meal. Oh, glowstone. I forgot we got that from the, the villager trading, didn't we? We did. Uh, I can leave my arrows there. So there we go. We cleaned it up a bit now. Do I have a sapling is the question. Wait, it'll be down here if I have one. Yes, I do. Excellent. And now let's... What I want to show you here, guys, is the technique for growing a huge, massive tree. And you may have seen this done before. And I I'm apologize if you've seen this before. But the technique that I like to use uses it's four of any block, really. I don't really care, but you do it on two sides, not one. So we want our tree to hang over like sort of this area here. So the two sides we want to block are one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. <laughs> there we go. Three, four. Mumbling more words. Uh, and then we place the sapling down. And hopefully, by process of elimination of removing the ability to grow small trees, we'll grow a big tree. So, the question is, how much bone meal will this guy take to grow a big tree? It might take all of our bone meal. Oh! Yes! Nice! First, well, not really first time, because it used 20 bone meal up. But now we can get rid of our cobble pillars, and we can place some, uh, 
leaf blocks back. So where did I place my leaf blocks? There they are. Because this is the good thing. You know, I can decorate the tree. Uh, let's try and replace some of this so it looks natural. So let's place that there. There we go. Looks neat already. And now I want to get rid of this. Now, the good thing about the addition in this game now is the sideways facing logs. And since you guys, you know I've played Pocket Edition, right? That's the template. I've used the template in Pocket Edition. I've built this thing and just tried to see what it would look like with the limitations of what you can use. Obviously, cyan flowers are, are red flowers in this game and things like that. But it's pretty much all the same, except you can't grow a big tree. So, how do I make the big... Oh, hang on. I really need to put this in here because that's, that's supposed to go in there. Organizing chest. Look at... Right, guys, I did not put that there. So, let's just move everything over one block. Hang on. Bone meal. Nope. There we go. So, chests are staying organized. This is what I like. Like to see. Organized chests. So, what I was looking for is that... I swear. I swear if I do something wrong in these chests again, it's not going to end well for my chests. <laughs> wow. Threatening a, an inanimate object. That's new. So... We want to do... The way to place these normally upright now is you have to jump. So, uh, there we go. Normal upright. And then we're going to have one facing this way. It's going to be normal upright here. It's going to be facing sideways on this side. So, we'll go from... Nope. Oh, this might be slightly awkward because we're above it. So, let's dig this. And now we'll place it... Oh, wrong way. God's sake. I'm trying to make it look realistic, which is kind of difficult because trees in Minecraft are not... And boop, there we go. That's like that. See how it blends into the side here? And this is a grass block. So let's go and get a grass block. Oh, not a grass block, a dirt block. Because I don't have grass yet. Because I don't have a silk touch pick to make it with. So we'll put, that'll be grass. Where else can we place these logs then, shall we? We'll place a sideways one. Nope, sideways. I think I jumped as I placed that one. Sideways. I'll break this. We'll place a, an upright here. <laughs> this is me being very picky about this. There we go. Two more. We'll go one here and we'll go one here. So, uh, sideways. Nope. Sideways. There we go. I guess I'm going to fall if I don't grab that. Nope. Ah, oh, I have to go down and collect the stuff anyway. But it's despawned. Ah, oh, what a bummer. This is... Oh, yeah. For... Oh, let's gravel under that. That's why that block was there. <laughs> Such an idiot. I knew I'd do something stupid. Oh, well. Uh, what can we do from here just to kind of, we'll kind of do this actually. So stop me doing something by accident down here ever again. We'll just block the roof up down here. Because once I've got this place done, we can start moving on to doing bitter, uh, bitter, bigger and better projects. So where's my hole? It's right here. Used all that dirt already. And you can see I haven't done anything extra to it since last time. And I've noticed, okay, so if you're above it, it becomes non-sideways. Okay, makes sense. So if you're in its, on its level, it becomes sideways. Sorta of makes sense, sorta of doesn't. Well, that kinda looks odd now. Hmm, looks better in the draw in the, the design. Hmm, I wonder why. Because it's got flowers and stuff around it, that'll be why. So how's my grass doing? Oh, it's about halfway, and it's- Oh, creeper, I see you. Oh, I did get it, nice. Oh, got it. Let's go. Look at all this sugar cane now, guys. We need to really harvest this thing. And come here, Skelly. Oh, wow. Yep, there we go. I'm not even sure now I'll be able to combine my two swords together. And if you're wondering, yes, that hole was from a creeper blast, by the way. This hole here. I had to repair a tree. That's why it's uh, so tall before it actually gets to it. So, question is... Well, since we've got a librarian at our uh, village, I'm going to try and spread my sugar cane farm out along the edge... But I think this is far enough for now anyway, because I don't need so much sugarcane. Unless I'm doing seriously hardcore, well, hardcore, uh, a lot of in-depth trading. And come here, Skelly. There we go. But while we're here, we might as well do some more booking chants if you want to see what we can get on them. Because why not? <laughs> why not, hey? Because uh, we can actually use some books instead of just saving up our levels to get to the thing. And I can hear a creeper. That's why I moved. Let's get a good shot on it. Oh, it's two spiders. And the creeper. Get rid of him. One, two, and three. Nailed them all. I'm actually getting quite a lot of levels from this. I'm surprised. How much sugar cane did I just collect? I get stacked a bit. Wow. It's just turned night time again. You just end up seeming to fight all the mobs. It just takes forever. Oh, zombie villager. Ow. 
skeleton. Oh, ow. Get you under the tree. There we go. Just collecting more bones so we can do some wheat farming. 